Today I challenge my friend Cappy to see who can make the most infectious disease possible. That's right, we're bringing it back to Plague Inc. All right, well we need a good name for our plague, so Cappy's Pit Stench. Probably a good starting point. Cappy's Pit Stench will rule the world! Oh, we gotta pick where to start. But, like, let's just, let's just go! Today, we're playing, uh, to, 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 what's it called? Plague Incorporated Evolved. Man, we gotta choose a name. This is the hardest part. Skibidi. Yeah. Skibidi Phantom Tex. Skibidi Phantom Tex. So last time I played against my friend Steve, I chose Australia. I'm gonna choose Egypt this time because it is land, right? It's on land. However, it does have two seaports and an airport. It seems like an incredibly good place to start, and I could work on getting the sea transmission as well as getting the burbs. So this time around, I'm gonna start with burbs because that way it travels across land, and then from there, I'll be doing... Eh, let's do seaports because technically speaking it does have two docks more likely to use them uh and then from there we'll work on airplanes so that's going to be kind of the breakdown of the strategy i'm definitely starting in madagascar because it locks down super easily skibidi phantom tax has infected its first human weak and unspecialized it must evolve using dna points to infect more people okay so i've got three dna points uh obviously i go through transmission i kind of want to get air air one if i if it, it can become an airborne bacterium that's a huge huge thing and i'm not too sure that there's much i can get i'm hoping that cappy has no idea what's going on my competition last time was fierce because well steve apparently plays this game in his spare time on single player mode go figure um steven uh but let's see let's see all right so we now have nine DNA points. We need 12 in order to get the first bird. And then from there, hopefully we can spread throughout Africa and also start breaking our way into Asia a little bit as well. And from there, you just kind of hope it hooks over to the left. Oh, wait, what did that say? Did I, get, did I, get, I didn't get like some kind of symptom, did I? No, okay, okay. It was just telling me about Cappy's pit stench. All right, we're fine. We're fine then. Slow and steady. Symptoms. Okay, the skin slightly increasing infectivity. Light chance of infection when kissing. I think I'm going to get a rash to increase infectivity. You have spent DNA points to evolve your disease, and more options have opened up. Get more points by popping DNA in biohazard bubbles and infecting people. Okay, huge gains. Me and Jerry aren't allowed to fast forward at all. So, this is it. Okay, so you can see we're infecting Madagascar down there. If you just... Okay, pop orange DNA bubbles, huge... Okay, so my game plan is to keep my risk of death low so that they don't prioritize curing me. That's what I'd like to do. And that gets me to nine. So with transmission, I'm going directly into air transmission. Oh, we already got 18 whole people. That's something to be proud of in a totally not proud kind of way. Uh, okay, no, 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 we don't want that. There we go. Bird. All right. You have spent DNA points. Yes, I know I spent DNA points, obviously. I, I'm the one who spent them. You don't have to give me a tutorial thing saying, hey, you spent money. Yeah, I know I spent money. On account of spending the whole money thing. It was kind of the kind of the point, wasn't it? All right, so we got that. How much was the next one? The next bird is 19 DNA points. We have three. All right, five now. The thing is, it'll start to balloon up as we start going over to other countries. So that's the plus side here. Another thing, too, is considering where we started, we do want to try and get more arid countries or humid as well. Or, or just hot, I guess. I guess hot, really, in general. Not, not humid. Arid and hot is probably a good starting point. Skibidity, fan Skibidity Phantom Tax begins to spread. Skibidity Phantom Tax is spreading from person to person in Madagascar and will grow exponentially. You control the plague indirectly by evolving it. We've only got 20, 30 people infected so far. That With those red dots, it looks like it would be more than 57. Journalists rush to cover latest record-breaking amount of money raised on Kickstarter. Sources expect record to last for the, at least 72 hours. That's not important. That's not important at all. Okay, so next, uh, Blood 1. I could go Livestock. Ooh, I kind of want to save up for Insect. Let's get Insect Infectivity. That's one of the most prolific spreaders of disease in entire in the entire history of it. We're getting a lot of DNA points considering we haven't even jumped really borders yet. And we're about to start though with that one. So now in order to get uh, air is 11 or water is 11, um, I kinda wanna go for just water for now. Let's do that. 
And it'll increase our chances of ship transmission. All right. It's really not as expensive as I was expecting, so I'm all right with that. Also, I think the reason we haven't hopped borders yet is I'm pretty sure typically... Now, I'm not saying anomalies don't happen, but I think typically... Oh, no, we got cysts. We got to get rid of the cysts so no one notices us. Uh, but what I was going to say is that typically, from my observation, is that you need at least a 1,000 people infected in a country for it to start really hopping around. Like I said, it's not like the, the official rule, I don't think, but it's kind of just my rule of thumb. Saudi Arabia, see? Saudi Arabia got infected and we were at, like, 970. So, like, it's not officially a rule, but it's close enough. Okay, so next, uh, we've got a bit of infectivity. I really want to turn up this re cold resistance because otherwise we're not going to be able to infect places like Russia. And we need to start just going into that, like drug resistance, cold resistance, stuff like that. Eventually you get the ability to send ships, but I'm not sure how. Oh, I think, are those infected ships? Okay. Okay, we've got seven. We're going to go to abilities. And we're going to go ahead and get... Create bacterial shell to protect against all climates. Okay, so I'm going to do that because bacterial resistance, I think, protects against all climates. Which means I don't need to go directly into cold resistance or heat resistance. Which is huge. Oh, gotta grab that. Skibidi phantom tax has infected thousands of Madagascar. Madagascar. People are being infected faster and faster. Okay, we've got only 5,000. Come on. Okay, it's going up. It's going up. All it is is a rash. Very infectious rash. It's just a rash. Don't make any rash decisions, bro. You don't need to cure it. It's a low priority. Like, it's only in Madagascar, dude. They've got hissing cockroaches. They've got move it, move it. Like, come on. All right, so we got our first other country infected. That's good. And then from there, I'll probably focus on doing temperature-based things, like going into hotter countries or colder even, too. The problem with the bacteria is I don't think there's any way to get the plane ability, uh, which is weird. At least in single player you can. I know multiplayer you can. Single player though, they have like all sorts of weird rules. Okay, now we're at a thousand. Oh my, Egypt's at 7,000 now. How did that happen so quick? All right, well, there we go. We got our first water upgrade there. So hopefully the ships start going out to different ports here. And that could actually be a good way to land us in Europe, actually. Which would make a lot... Oh, no, we have nausea. We have nausea. Gotta get rid of that. Gotta get rid of that. Okay, there's only two DNA points. Get rid of it. Um, it's a lot more realistic to send a ship over to Europe than it is to have it curl up th from Africa through Asia and then around Europe like that. That doesn't seem realistic to me, right? So, be way easier to do it that way. Transmission and survive increases infectivity, especially in human environments and ship transmission. So, that's the next one I got gotta get. Because the only way out of Madagascar is through a ship channel. And if they lock it down, the game's over before it even starts, folks. It's over! It's over! Scientists have had a breakthrough in their understanding of inflammation and will be able to cure disease with it more easily. Okay, so we don't want inflammation. Symptoms. It's a rash. Nausea. Coughing. Insomnia. Consists. None of this stuff causes inflammation. What I need... Scabitty phantom tax has infected more people in the world than TB. It is a very infectious disease. Okay, I just need... I just need water transmission. I just need water transmission. Come on, cut me a break here. Oh, it's going. It's going. Saudi Arabia has been infected. Your disease has taken an important step in becoming a plague. When a new country is infected, pop the red bubble to get bonus DNA. Okay, Saudi Arabia is an arid climate. I think I'm far more suited to just dumping into bacterial resilience okay so now this should start taking off coughing symptom mutated skibidi phantom tax has mutated and developed a coughing symptom without using dna points huge okay but coughing isn't technically bad all it is is a cough i think i can let coughing go because it costs points to unevolve something new minor disease spreading okay so they're not trying to cure me because I'm mostly harmless right now. Okay, we got eight. I think it was like probably around like 15, 16 in order to get the level two of the ship, hopefully. And, oh, we're in the Middle East too. So we're in Saudi Arabia, Middle East, and Egypt. Nice. Hey, now we're starting to go down a little bit throughout Africa too. Oh, wow, yeah. Now we're jumping around biggie time here. All right, and Central Africa has many bordering countries, so that's going to be nice to spread a bit too. Nice. Good. All right. We're getting lucky with some of our plays. That's Turkey. We got Turkey going there now. None of which have been transmitted by boat, which is interesting to note. So that's just all hopping around with birds. I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. 
I want 100% completion this time around. Okay, so nice. I've made it to South Africa. Skibidi Phantom Tax infecting more countries. Huge. Yes, it's in Australia. Okay, so I'm thinking my next one should be ships. It should be ships. Just because planes are only very rarely going to, I think that's New Zealand over here. Medicine in Australia is slowing infection. Okay, just, you may need to evolve drug resistance ability. Okay, then in that case, that's 13 points. God, they're really coming at me with this. I could just infect them faster. The faster I infect them, the more points I get. So I think transmission is still the move. Oh, wow. Oh, wow! And our first boat just shipped over, it looks like, to Spain, perhaps. And we just had a boat go down there. Nice. We didn't get any symptoms, did we? Okay, I thought I read a symptom, but I, I think I was just losing my mind. There we go. Now we just gotta hope we start sending them out to different islands. Oh, we're going... We're now across the ocean, folks. We are in the Americas. Love that. Uh-oh, nausea. Nausea, get rid of nausea. How much is that? How much is it to get rid of nausea? All right, not much. Two DNA points still. I thought it would go up the second time you get it, but I guess not. Cappy's pitch stents has affected more people than TV. Oh, my. Oh, my. Cappy's pitch. We got to get that man some deodorant, dude. That man needs some deodorant. Come on, give me some bubbles to pop. I'm, I'm so nervous. My plan. Um, I must orchestrate it perfectly. <laughs> Okay, Madagascar is completely infected. No one's dead yet. Come on. Oh, wait. I need to get that before it goes. Okay, so transmission. We're going air two. It takes 16. I'd like to get air two. I think the higher levels would be better. Spain is a wealthy country with high quality health care. Yeah, yeah, true. So we got to be careful of that over there. Oh, a plane. We didn't even buy any of the plane upgrade yet. So that is kind of surprising. Uh, we're doing very fine with the boats, honestly, and that could get us to a lot of the different islands. So I'm kind of more tempted to focus on getting things that'll make us harder to cure down the line than I am having it get airplanes. I don't know if that's going to... Ah, that might come back to bite me in the butt, though. You know what I mean? But, oh, it's such a tough call. The boats will handle themselves. The boat. I got to believe the boats will handle themselves. I'm going this route, then. I'm going to make it harder to uh, to cure us in the future. I don't know if that was a big mistake or not. That's the one we're going with, though. And if you like the comment section, let me know if I was dumb. They always do. They always have a way of doing that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. And getting it in Iceland is huge. We're going to immediately go into more air transmission. Huge. Huge. And it's already getting dividends. Tip, pop red bubbles. Yeah, I get it. Yes. World menu contains useful data. Now Skibidi Phantom Text is beginning to spread across the world. Use the world data menu. Uh, healthy. 20. Okay, so we've infected 22 million people so far. I feel like abilities. Uh, let's go ahead and get drug resistance. And that'll make it more effective in... Yeah, and so now we can just start making it harder for us to cure ourselves. Huge. 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 That just got New Zealand. New Zealand, another isolated island that has been infected. Now we really need to get into the Americas. Okay, good. Good. We got to an island there. Okay. We are on Madagascar. It's one less island to worry about. And weirdly enough, the airplanes are still going, despite the fact that we really haven't upgraded that. So, you know, that's fine. All right. Keep shipping out the boats everywhere, right? Oh, we made it to Russia. So how are we looking in terms of countries... All right, there's still actually significantly more countries we haven't infected compared to have infected. How much is... The, oh, okay. Decreased future research speed. Good. That wasn't that bad. What's that? 24 DNA points for the next one? Dude. What's this one do? Create bacterial shell to protect against all climates. I mean, yeah, that actually sounds fantastic. That, that sounds incredible, actually. Uh, I might want to get that next. There's only eight, so I kind of want to get that next, actually. Okay, nice! Did you see it? It went. It's going. It's spreading. It's going. It's popping off! Okay, let's go! Okay, so now let's just do genetic hardening. Okay, so now let's just do genetic hardening. Okay, so I'm going full infectivity. Okay, it's spreading rather quickly now. Skibidi Phantom Tax has mutated and developed pneumonia without using DNA points. Let's see... 
uh, symptoms, pneumonia. People in cold climates, especially vulnerable. I'm going to use two points to devolve that. And I'm going to go back. Okay, we're at 16. Yes. Okay, let's put that into abilities. And we're going to get bacterial resilience level 3. That should make it better in more climates. We really need to get someone in Greenland. But that the only way that goes through is through water infectivity. Skibidi phantom tax has infected more people in the world than... Mm, it is an extremely infectious disease. Okay, we're going for water infectivity to try and get Greenland abilities uh, transmission. Okay, we need 11. We need 12 for this. We're looking fine. Oh, 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 oh! Many new countries, many new countries. Okay. Correct against all climates. Yeah, what's the next one? Uh, only 10. Dude, that's a good ability for bacteria. I like that a lot. All right, so the other things probably don't get that, right? Like, viruses probably don't get that, and, like, parasites. Bacteria gets their own special shell, apparently. And it's a, quite a big buff. Dude, oh my gosh, yeah. I don't know if that's coincidence or not, but I have a feeling it has to do with the fact that now we're doing well in hotter climates. So, that's really good. Oh, we're in islands. We're going to islands, dude. We're getting all over the place. Let's get this one. What's the last one? Another one of that? Yeah, dude. Obviously. Oh, oh. We gotta get rid of the cysts before anyone notices us. Get rid of that immediately. Okay, it was only there for like 0.5 seconds. Hopefully no one noticed that they randomly had cysts for all of like a second. <laughs> Can you imagine the whole world for like a day? It's like, man, where did these cysts come from? Then they just go away. It's like, alright. Kind of what happened there. Except by the whole world, I mean like... A fifth of the world. Still very noticeable. Also, we have so many more points now. Like, gee willikers, Batman. Okay, uh, let's get that going there. All right, we now have peak for... Uh, wait a minute, what's this? Has infected more people than the common cold? Good. We now have peak for the weather stuff. We don't have to worry about this because this is kind of in all climates. Like, that'll take care of that. We don't have to worry about it. I'd rather get... You know what? I don't even want genetic hardening yet. Let's keep on getting the spread going here. Let's hope to get more airplanes flying around, maybe. Right? Eh, actually, that might not have been the smartest move. Maybe we should be doing the DNA stuff. We need water infectivity. We need water infectivity. Okay, we got it. Oh, wait. There was a bubble. I need to pop it. Water infectivity. Huge. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Just get into Greenland. Okay, I'm going to get cold resistance because that seems to be a holdout for us. Okay, nice. We're finally starting to see some cases pick up in Russia and Canada. We do need to get boats, though. Boats, good. Yeah, because, like, Scandinavian countries, lots of... Yeah, we don't have the Baltic states, Sweden, or Nor Norway. Right? So we kind of need that to go up there. Okay. Yo! Okay, biggie time. Lots of problems there. Okay. Future DNA pay... Yeah, let's get that. Voters of the UK have voted to leave the... Oh, my gosh! That... Wow, I forgot that I forgot this when this game came from. I was like, that already happened, my dude. Uh, let's see. Argentina. Wow, South America is ballooning up pretty fast here. Where aren't we? Island, island, Scandinavian countries, randomly Ukraine, and then island. Okay. So mostly Scandinavian countries. Ukraine will get caught because if everything else around it's getting infected, eventually it's going to hop over. And there goes two islands and one of our first Scandinavian countries. Ice or Greenland, though, we need you. We need to get Greenland fast. Yes. 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 A transmission. If we get this, we can get extreme bio aerosol, which makes it incredibly transmissible. Okay, I need to see how much that costs, though. It costs 21 points. That's all. I only need four more points to get extreme bio aerosol. Come on, someone go to Greenland. Okay, we're getting extreme bio aerosol. Huge. Uh, what else can we be doing here? I guess saving up the DNA at this point might be a good idea. Because we're supposedly good in all climates, right? Yeah, saving the DNA in order to become more deadly in the future might be a smart call. Okay, let's de-evolve that quick. Hopefully no one noticed. I don't think they did. I really don't think they did. Okay, abilities-wise, let's see. Increase effectiveness in wealthy countries. I don't know. I hear rumors that this helps it become harder to cure. But I don't know if those rumors are true, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with it. Seems like we're struggling a bit in no, okay, that's ballooning up there. 
Nah, we're fine. We're fine. Thank goodness for the bacterial shell. I don't think I used that ability last time when I was facing off against my friend Steve. So I think that might have been what holds us back. Right now, though, I'm liking what I'm seeing. And we have a lot of DNA points. Worst case scenario, if I infect that much of the world, we probably could beat my friend Cap here. We'll see. Hopefully, anyway. Oh, Australia, though, is actually starting to balloon up. And that's going to be a decent-sized population. Canada, though, taking its sweet old time. And all that's left is Greenland, dude. Get over to Greenland! Just send one boat. One boat over there, dude. That's all it takes. One ship in the wrong direction. All right, I'm not asking for a lot here. Wait! Oh, my God, a boat just went there. It didn't carry any sick people with it. Dude, the whole world is going down fast. More infectious than the common cold. Skibidi Phantom Tax has infected more people in the world than the common cold. It's the ultimate infectious disease. Okay, so extreme bioaerosol is popping off. They haven't even started trying to cure it. It's just a common cold. Come on, just one ship to Greenland. Just one. Abilities. Okay, bam, bam, bam. Okay, so, jeez. Okay, so now symptoms, abilities. Let's just get drug hardening. So it'll take even longer for them to cure us once they start. I can't just not get Greenland, though. But the longer we wait, the more likely it is that they catch us. And that's the only real issue at hand. Okay, we got a coughing symptom, so let's get rid of that immediately. De-evolve for two DNA points. Hopefully no one noticed that, right? All right, no one noticed it. We're good. Okay, come on. Just Greenland. How do I get the plane thing? Transmission, abilities, and DNA points. I'm going to get that. Come on. Yes. Did you get in Greenland? We've got eight people infected in Greenland. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. Dude, Russia's gone. Russia's gone. It's over. Come on, dude. Just send one. Oh, come on. Boat, boat, boat. And it swerved on Greenland. It's probably because the roots are probably pretty, like, typically, you know, built out. And I bet you, you need to have a total infection in probably Iceland or the Scandinavian countries to get to Greenland. Perhaps Canada as well, but it probably follows, like, typical global trade routes, right? Yeah, I just saw a boat come out, and it looked like it came from Iceland to Greenland. But Iceland doesn't have enough infected, and it's just not happening, really. There we go. They're there. All right, you know what? Because of how desperate we're getting, I know I was saying I don't want to do more cold temperature, but let's just get the cold temperature ones up. Cost us a lot, but we still have 60 DNA points to play with. So hopefully that'll spread there faster, because literally, it's just cold, 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 cold. It's really the cold countries that are just struggling to get a big foothold. All right, so we're everywhere in the world. Total infection is there. Nice. All right. Now we just play the waiting game. Oh, yep, that's going to be big right there. Russia's going fast. Ukraine, they're going there now because we got the cold. Got the cold. Yeah, getting that cold was probably a very smart idea. Okay, so abilities. We're going to go ahead and do heat resistance because the hotter parts of Africa have yet to be infected. And we might as well just do another layer of cold resistance. Huge. Okay, so now they're going to be more effective in these cold climates like Canada and Greenland. Huge. Insomnia symptom mutated. Okay, that's okay. Insomnia lowers their ability to work, and I'm pretty infectious across the entire world right now. Let's go ahead and check the world stuff. We have six uh, tr billion people infected, and there's only 680 million people that are healthy. Pretty soon, we're going to be able to start dumping into symptoms. See America starts working on cure. See America is the first to instruct doctors to begin research into a cure for scabidi phantom tax. Without greater funding, it is expected to take a long time. Okay, but they're just getting started. I can't kill them too fast. Not everybody's infected. And while some of the symptoms do spread diseases faster, I want to go for a total board wipe. Okay, come on. We're so close. Thank you for passing that along. Come on, we need 100% infected. Dude, if we get 100% infected without even being noticed, that's insane. Oh, we got cysts now. Speak of the devil. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't be suspicious. Greenland's looking good. Look at that. 160. 160 people. It's going. It's going fast, dude. And by fast, I mean... We're getting there. To be fair, I don't really know what the total... Wait, it's affecting more people in the world. It needs to evolve. To I know it needs to, but not yet. We're not ready for that yet. We don't want anyone noticing us. We're not ready to pull the trigger. We're just gonna be chilling. To be fair, 
Greenland only having 800 people, I don't know if that's a lot or a little. Because I don't know what the total population of Greenland is. Like, I know Iceland, the total population is less than 400,000. So 18,000 people is a ton for Iceland. It's like four over 4% 4 of the population. <laughs> so, you know, it puts it into perspective. Severe storm strikes it in. All right. Yeah, because Greenland right here, see, like, 3,000 people to Greenland is clearly a lot of people. Um, might not be a lot to, like, the U.S., where there's 300-some-odd million. Um, this game says 316 million? I think the U.S. had, like, 360 to 70 million, somewhere around there. Doesn't the U.S. have, like, 360 million people? Am I crazy? I don't know. I might be crazy. Either way, Canada. We're getting them fast. We're getting Greenland fast. All right, we're getting, we're getting everybody fast out here. Ain't no survivors going. Said Sweden still needed a couple people. Oh, that's just a matter of seconds, really. Greenland, kind of the same thing, really. Canada, why are you taking your sweet old time here, though? There it is. So we got most of the whole world. I'm tempted to just start pulling the trigger on making it super severe and deadly. Very tempted to just do that already. I mean, what are the odds it doesn't infect the last little bit of people? Yeah, it's literally just Canada left. All right. All right, that's fine. We, we can start going for this. So let's start going up this way and going towards the middle. The more towards the middle, the more lethal it tends to be. Like that right there. That's total organ failure. That's kind of what we want, right? That's the big one. Because right now we're not that deadly. Okay, I think we're good to go for it. Let's start doing symptoms. Uh, we're going to do, uh, like, sneezing, pneumonia, uh, pulmonary fibrosis, uh, paranoia. Uh, inflam well, inflammation they have, like, advantage against, so I'm gonna go seizures. Okay, huge. Doctor in Korea in order checkup found Cappy's pit stench? No! You get away from Cappy's pit stench. Alright, oh, we're killing people fast now, 500,000. So the thing is, even when they start curing it, or trying to anyway, we might be able to stop them. Just solely because if you end up killing an entire country, that has a cure lab in it, that's a big thing. All right, everyone on Earth has now been infected with it, so now it's a matter of just pulling the cord. They're curing it very fast, actually. Uncomfortably pass fast. We don't have 32 DNA points. The problem is we need 32 DNA points. We need the tiniest bit of DNA points if we want to pull this off. Can you devolve these things to refund of two? I don't realize you can just refund transmission-based things. Dude. How have I never known that I can just get refunds on those things? We need a refund just one more little thing. Dude, that's actually crazy that it lets you do that. I had no idea up until right now that I could get a refund for those things. Well, now we're starting to hopefully get... Yeah, we're super deadly now. But we do have to worry about the world kind of coming in and trying to cure this thing. So, how many DNA points is a shuffle? 25. It's 25 to reshuffle. The idea of all that is two, four, six, eight. Let's get those. Okay. There we go. So now we've got nine. We're nowhere near 25, though. And I don't want to get rid of these because it decreases future research speed. I get rid of this one, though, perhaps? Increases effectiveness and, yeah. All right. So we just got to save our money. It's 25 to get that next one, and we have 11. All right. It's not the end of the world, I guess. Japan has become the first... Uh, country to try and limit the spread of Skibidi Phantom Tax by limiting access. This Time will tell if this works. It won't. First death in Angola. First death from Skibidi Phantom Tax has been confirmed in Angola. Bad luck or the beginning of something terrible? Huge. Okay, so now if I can get to insanity. <laughs> insanity! <laughs> Fight the cure. Okay, we're at 10%. We're at 10% cure. We just need to evolve to kill now. I'm just not getting many more DNA points. There are no healthy people left in the world. Now I just need to kill them. Our DNA points are going up slowly but surely. I just hope it goes fast enough that we can shuffle our DNA to make it harder to cure us. Because the cure is at 22% right now. Oh my gosh, come on. Alright, we've got a billion people. The cure is 25% complete. Yeah, I know. There we go, we got it. Boom. How much is the next one? 30. Alright, we gotta hopefully get 30. So we just made it. Why did that not... Okay, it went down... Dude, it went down by only like a couple percent. That really didn't do much. How are the Cure Labs doing? Are they like... Any of them destroyed? Okay, so they're not destroyed really yet. The research priority is high. And unfortunately, countries that have Cure Labs in them... Like, where's the main Cure Lab? Uh, key research things are Norway, Central Europe, and the UK. 
So let's see. Uh, Norway, not enough people have died that the Cure Labs are shutting down is the problem. Central Europe, same thing. They're getting there, though. I feel like once it gets about 80 or 90 percent, that's when the doctors start just giving up. Well, they start leaving the Cure Labs, really. All right, 40 percent. No Cure research could take place in the Balkan states, it said. I think they lost too much population. Good. I can get a DNA reshuffle again. Definitely, let's get that. And then we also now, I guess, can work on some more symptoms. Let's get a little, uh, let's get a little of this going on. Make it a little more deadly. Make it work quicker. Oh, yeah. There's no way any cure research is going to be going on in any of these countries anytime soon. Norway's got, yeah, 800,000 people only left. They have to shut down that cure lab soon, I'm guessing. Hey, look at the world research. It's, like, slow to a halt. Synthetic genes. Say this breakthrough will help cure... Uh-oh. All right, it's starting to get a little fancy on me, but I don't think it's going to work. I really don't think it's going to work. I'm not sure I'm killing them fast enough. Research doctors of all around the world are completely focused on developing a cure for Skibidi Phantom Tax. Dude, I think I might just get out cured. I think I might have played too passive. It's cure for Skibidi Phantom Tax? No. Killed more than the Black Death? Come on, dude. Yes. Give me more points. Ah! Vomiting symptom without using DNA points. Dude, I think they're going to cure me. Has been placed on the WHO. Already dangerous governments are warned that it could become unstoppable. I got I got on the RMS watch list. Ah, dude. Pop to stop cure speeding up. There's nothing I can do. Then. There's nothing I can do. I would need 27 for the DNA reshuffle. Yeah, I think unfortunately I'm getting cured. My infectivity was just too heavy-handed. Ah! All right, 300 million. Come on, go lower, go lower. Okay, 220 million. Dude, we're doing good. Oh, it's over. I think? 112 million? Yeah, we're fine. The only hope that we have is that we beat Cappy to the punch or that he didn't even succeed in taking care of every single person on Earth. The only way to tell, though, is by meeting up with him. So we're going to find out in a second. But first, fair is fair. We have to get through all those. So let's make sure let's make sure we speed this up as best we can. Give it a little bit of an extra jolt there. Only 33 million people left. Man, I wish you could just hit the fast forward button up top. And that's technically cheating because we have to keep ourselves at the same pace, right? Otherwise, that's not, that's not really fair. Oh, the world's going down, dude. world's going down fast out here. Oh, thank you for that singular little DNA. I will, I will cherish that extra point there. Is there any even Cure Labs open? There actually are, so I'm still working on it. Yeah, not fast, though. Genes manipulated. Have introduced synthetic genes in the Skibidi Phantom Tax. Hugh Reacher's to say this breakthrough will help cure efforts. Bruh. The cure for Skibidi Phantom Tax. Ah, bro. I wasn't lethal enough. Okay, so I evolved to make it harder to develop a cure, but dang. Too heavy-handed on the infection. Yeah, it's not happening. Transmission. Symptoms. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, I know. I know. It's bad. Dude, there's only 2.5 million people in the world left. Cappy's pitch stench has destroyed the world despite their best efforts. All of this could have been stopped with some good deodorant, dude. Literally. Like, none of this had to happen. Alright. And the numbers are... Dwindling to zero. There we go. Total time, 912 days. I'm cured, Jerry. You're cured? Yeah, I've been cured. Well, I hate to inform you, but Cappy's pit stench destroyed the world in 912 days. Bro, I got, I got, I infected everybody, but I wasn't lethal enough. Ah. Uh, Sag, the whole world could have solved this issue with some deodorant, but your pit stench yeah, is too much, buddy. Yeah, it's crazy. I guess, like, Skibidi Phantom Tax was just really infectious, but very easy to cure. I'm sorry, what what was the name of your disease? <laughs> Skibidi Phantom Tax. 